Hi guys. So we know this for a fact that Delhi is one of the most polluted cities in the world. In fact, according to some surveys in 2018 and in 2019, Delhi was regarded as the most polluted city in the world. And it's not just Delhi. There are 21 Indian cities in the list of 30 most polluted cities in the world. Okay, and 30 percent of this pollution in Delhi is contributed by the vehicles flying in Delhi. So let's first understand as to what is the intensity of pollution in Delhi before going into the initiative or the scheme that we are going to discuss today. So PM 2.5 and PM 10 are two particles that are responsible for most of the pollution in Delhi. PM 2.5 is considered more dangerous because it's more minute. Okay, since it's minute, it easily reaches our lungs and our heart also, and causes a lot of health and other respiratory diseases. The problem is that these particulate matters 2.5. and pm10 is too much in the air in delhi that if you're breathing in delhi for two months after diwali you are smoking 40 to 50 cigarettes every day okay so you must have heard about the air quality index or aqi which ki news bahut zyada aati rehti hai so 50 or 100 i would say is the good and satisfactory limit of aqi in india and if it's over 300 or 400 then it creates a lot of health hazards including a lot of fatal breathing problems and even to the fittest of individuals an aqi over 300 is dangerous so in delhi for two months after diwali in 2018 and 2019 an aqi of as much as 999 has been recorded and that too because uske aage ke measure karne ke baad hamare paas instruments nahi the so 999 was the limit aur utna hi wo measure ho gaya tha kai baar delhi mein so this is the intensity of pollution in delhi at this point in time The Delhi government has started various initiatives to curb vehicular pollution. One of the most popular one was the odd even rule. However, it could not produce the desired results and let's say it wasn't very successful. So the new policy of the Delhi government to curb vehicular pollution is the new electric vehicle policy. So right now only 0.29% of the vehicles in Delhi are electric vehicles that is not even 1 in 300 so the delhi government wants to make it 25% till 2024 so for the next 4 years they want to make 25% of the vehicles registered in delhi as electric vehicles so the aim is to have 5 lakh electric vehicles in delhi by 2025 so first year mein 35000 is the target uske baad mein progressively it will be increased by and by so one of the major problems for buying an electric vehicle is we know that its operational or running cost is minimal it's very low as compared to a diesel or a petrol vehicle but when you go and buy an electric vehicle it's very costly in the first instance for that the delhi government is now providing incentives to people so if you buy an e car in delhi you will be given incentives worth 1 lakh 50000 rupees and if you buy any e rickshaw or a two wheeler in delhi you will be given incentives worth 30000 rupees and for people who want to buy an e commercial vehicle low interest rate loans will be given to those people and other than that there will be waiver of road tax as well as registration fees on these vehicles so these are certain big incentives and people can save a lot of money in this another major obstacle that we observe while running an electric vehicle is the charging points availability so we know that if you are buying a petrol or a diesel vehicle we have petrol pumps or fuel stations all around us and these are easily available fuels now because the charging points not being there it becomes very difficult for me to charge my vehicle or take it to a long distance also so the delhi government has planned to install 200 charging points within one year okay so by 2021 end they will install 200 charging points in delhi other than that they have started a one in a kind policy as kejriwal called it and this is a policy that is nowhere in india or in the world called the scrapping incentive scrapping incentive means that if you want to exchange your diesel or a petrol vehicle for an electric vehicle you have all the right to do so and other than your right to do so you will given certain incentives on that okay so you will be given a very good deal on that and you can make good money and basically get an electric vehicle for very cheap on exchange so this is a very good policy according to me that has been initiated by the delhi government to curb pollution other than that he announced that there are certain initiatives taken by the central government also if somebody buys an e vehicle okay so this in these initiatives are called fame india phase 2 so whatever incentives are provided under this union government scheme delhi government's initiatives will be over and above that okay so jo pehle hi diya jata hai central government ke dwara hame as incentives for buying an e vehicle 
डेली गवर्नमेंट के जो इनिशिएटिव होंगे वो उसके अलावा मिलेंगे ओके सो इन माई ओपिनियन दिस इज अ वेरी गुड इनिशिएटिव एंड बेसिकली इट इज फैसिनेटिंग पीपल टू बाय इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल्स Now let's understand as to what are the major challenges that a Delhi government can face under this policy. So we know that if you're buying a diesel or a petrol vehicle, it works on certain intensity. Okay, it is certain powers engine. It works at a certain speed and so on. But with electric vehicles, we have generally seen that they are not as efficient as petrol or an electric vehicle. Plus, their availability is not too much because there are limited options when we go for electric vehicles in India. So, if you look at it optimistically, it opens avenues and opportunities for a lot of electric vehicle manufacturers in India. Another major obstacle that I could think of with respect to this policy is that the charging points are being established within Delhi. So, if I'm buying a car, I would expect to go out of the city with that car in some point in time. All right, so we go on long rides, on long tours, trips, and so on in our cars. But if the availability of these charging points is only in Delhi. it will be very difficult for me to move out of the city with my vehicle because how will i charge my vehicle so i expect that this policy or policies like this are adopted by a lot of state governments because let's face it electric vehicles are the need of the hour and for the future we are all going to use electric vehicles because we have limited availability of these fuels like petrol and diesel so this is a very progressive move and in the right direction i hope that this is successful so that's it about the session from my side if you have any doubts any comments or any feedback on this session or on the policy also you can mention in the comment box if you like our sessions please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you don't miss any updates from us keep liking us keep following us thank you